Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a little update on my foundation inventory. So I have a bunch of foundations here. I went through and I did swatches of all of them and we're just gonna go through them, talk about them, what I like and what I don't like. I feel like there are a couple in here that I used to love, but they're not my favorite anymore and some I just don't use as much as others for various reasons. So I figured we would go through them, just give a brief recap of all of the foundations foundations I have in my collection. So if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related. And I'd love it if you liked and subscribed if you aren't already. And with that being said, let's just hop into it. I figured for this video, we would go in terms of coverage. So I have a few different options here. I have 12 foundations in total. Most of them are either light coverage or medium coverage. I don't really reach for full coverage, so I don't have any of those in my collection. However, some of these can be built up to a higher coverage level if I want them to be. Typically though, I just prefer like a light medium, medium coverage for foundation. So that's what we're gonna go through. Most of them are in the mid to high range. There's like maybe one or two that are technically drugstore. So the first option I have here is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I have mine in the shade G9. This is literally almost no coverage. I don't reach for this a ton anymore. I feel like this is just barely enough coverage if you are having a good skin moment. I have been having better skin lately, so I do see myself wanting to reach for this more, but there's no building up of this product. It is so lightweight, so thin. It really just acts as more of a moisturizer for me than a foundation. And honestly, if I am gonna get nothing out of this, then I might as well just reach for a normal moisturizer instead of this. I do think it looks nice on the skin. It makes my skin look healthy and glowy and just like plump. But like I said, I can kind of get that from a moisturizer. And since this barely has a tint, I just feel like it's not necessarily the product that I reach for the most anymore. I do feel like I still want to keep it just because I feel like I could use it. I might even bring this to Hawaii with me if I just want something with a super light coverage for when I'm going into work. But honestly, I feel like there are other products here that I would reach for more. So I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I still have it. I still want to use it because there's still quite a bit of product in here. I think I just have to figure out a different way. I think maybe I could use this as a mixer with some of my other thicker foundations. Um, or if I want to sheer out a different foundation, I feel like this isn't something that would I would reach for in on its own anymore. The next thing I have here is the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I have mine in the shade four, which I think is a light medium neutral olive. This is everything that I wish the Glossier was. This is just my all time favorite skin tint. I feel like it does such a great job of evening out my skin tone. It's not a lot of coverage, but it still makes me feel healthy and glowy, but it still does something. Besides that, I feel like it lasts really well throughout the day, especially on my oily skin type. I feel like even if I wear this, like by the end of the day, my skin still looks nice and hydrated and glowy without looking greasy. So I love this. I've talked about this so many times. This is truly just my most favorite skin tint. I think there are a couple of others in here that I like as well, but this is still my holy grail. This is still the one product, the one skin tint that I will always reach for. I love this. I've talked about it a ton on my channel and I just feel like it's just that girl. Like it just does everything that I want it to do. And the fact that a skin tint doesn't make me feel oily throughout the day is chef's kiss. Love her, will always love her. Truly one of the best products in my collection. The next thing I have here is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. Um, I have mine in the shade 30 light medium. I will say the shade of this is okay for me. It's not the worst thing in the world right now. I'm a little bit more tanner than I usually am, so it's a little bit light for me, but in the winter months, it's pretty good. This was supposedly a dupe for the Chanel Le Beige, which I also have, which I will mention later on. So I don't think they're dupes. This one is much more serum-like. This one has much less coverage and pigment than the Chanel Le Beige, but 
I do think it looks pretty on my skin. I do like the way that it looks. It is kind of expensive for a drugstore. I believe this is still like $20 for a drugstore foundation, which seems like quite a lot to be honest, but I do like it. I am probably gonna use it up especially in the winter time when my skin feels a little bit extra dry. I feel like this would be a really good option just to hydrate and make my skin look nice and plump. I like it. I don't know if I like it more than the Chanel Le Beige, which is unfortunate to say though, because that is a pricey, pricey foundation. Yeah, I, I just think it doesn't quite live up to the Chanel Le Beige like dupe that it's supposed to give, but I do like the product as a separate entity. I do think that it's just less coverage. And when you're comparing the two, I would prefer the Chanel. I do think this is a good product on its own though, just not a dupe. The next product I have here is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I have mine in the shade 30 PCH. Out of all of my lighter coverage skin tints, I think I think this is my least favorite purely because it leaves my skin feeling incredibly oily. Like right off the bat, it's too oily, especially as the day goes on, it's too oily. So it's just not my favorite. I do like that it has the added SPF in there, but I have since found a different tinted sunscreen that has added SPF that I enjoy more. This shade is also a little bit too warm for me. And even though it's a skin tint, it's not super full coverage. I still feel like it's quite noticeable. So just in general, not my favorite. I like the packaging. I love almost Almost everything else Tower 28 comes out with. This is just one of the lower tier products from them and definitely one of the lower tier skin tints that I have in my collection. It's it's just a little bit too oily for me. It's just not something that I would tend to reach for, especially since I found the other product that I enjoy a lot more that has sunscreen in it. The next product I have here is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I have mine in the shade 4 to 5 medium. I think this is a really pretty formula. It definitely has a luminescence to it, and you can see that in the packaging itself. So I feel like if you have dry skin, if you like a really soft, like lit from within type of glow, you would really like this. I think the coverage is nice. I don't love the dropper like applicator, but that's okay. That's not a huge deal for me. It is slightly thicker of a formula. So in terms of skin tints or tinted serums, this one is much more liquidy and much more of an essence, whereas this kind of feels like a full foundation. So just something to keep in mind. I don't think that the texture of it is bad. I still like this product a lot. I think the shade four to five medium is a pretty good shade match for me right now. It is slightly, slightly more neutral. It does. It's not a perfect shade match, but honestly, almost none of these formulas are perfect shade matches for me. I feel like it's really hard to like nail the olive undertone. And I'm also not 100% sure if I'm a cool or warm olive or like just a neutral olive. I think I lean more warm, but most warm olives are too warm. They tend to be too yellow. So I've had a lot of trouble finding like my perfect, perfect shade match. However, I do think this is a pretty good one. I think the coverage of it is nice. It does leave my skin feeling and looking really pretty, really hydrated, really glowy. And I don't think it gets too oily throughout the day. I do think it does get a little bit oily. I definitely have to powder, but it's not over the top like some of the other foundations are. So I really like this. I think this is a beautiful product and honestly, I should reach for it more. This is also kind of expensive. I think this is around $20 too, which is quite pricey for drugstore, but I do like it. I'm a, I'm a fan. The next product I have here is my Chanel Le Beige Touche Detente. This is in the shade B30 and this is a very, very expensive foundation. I'm sad to say that I do like the foundation though. So I don't think I would ever repurchase it after I finish it up. Like I don't think it's something I need, need to have in my collection but I do like it. It is nice. That kind of hurts to say because it is so, so expensive. The shade B30, again, isn't my perfect shade match. I think this lasts on my skin so, so nicely though. Like I wore this, I wore it all day and it doesn't get oily throughout the day. It looks beautiful by the end of the day. Like it wears so nicely. My skin always just looks very nice and like plump without being oily or greasy. So I just, I think this is a great product. I don't think you need to run out and get it. Like if 
this is not in your budget, not worth the money. There are plenty of cheaper options that I like just as much. I do like this though, and I, I can't say that I don't. It's just so, 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 so expensive. I can't in good conscience recommend it. There are plenty of other options out there, but if you want to splurge, I do like it and I do think it's nice. This next item is the item that I prefer over the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen, and this is from Supergroup. This is a newer product from Supergroup. It's their Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint, SPF 50. I have mine in the shade 26W. I think this is a fantastic product. It's the product that I'm wearing today. I feel like it has a good amount of coverage. It doesn't look too greasy. It is a nice formula, so it blends out really easily. I think this is a fantastic product, especially for the summer when I want a little bit more added SPF, especially because I am going to be going to Hawaii in a couple weeks here, and I will be there for an entire month, and I feel like this is the product that I want to bring because it has that added SPF because it looks nice on my skin. I just feel like this is a really good product and my acne scars have been fading really nicely and I haven't been getting a ton of extra acne like additional acne so I just feel like this is wonderful it doesn't cling on to dry patches around my acne I took this on the cruise with me that I just got back from and I loved it used it almost not every day I probably half the days and then I used the about face the other half but this is a great product I truly truly enjoy it the one thing I will say about this though is that it does leave a slight sunscreen smell and it does kind of linger for me. I don't think it's super noticeable anymore. I've probably had this on for about an hour now, but it is still there. And if I like smell for it, I can definitely smell it. So that is one downside. I guess I would prefer that over something heavily fragranced, but it does, it does smell like sunscreen and it's not my favorite smell in the world, but I like the effect of it so much and I like the added protection that I am willing to put up with it. The next item I have here is this from Urban Decay. This is their face bond foundation. I have mine in the shade 13 light medium cool olive. I really like this product. It's supposed to be like a self-setting foundation and because of that I feel like it lasts really really well on me on my oily skin. The one thing I will say this shade definitely too light for me. Definitely too light for me right now probably even too light for me in the winter time. So I am considering picking up a second shade of this that's a little bit deeper to mix and or just use that one. I think this is a really good formula. I think it looks so nice on my skin. I do like that it has that satin matte type of finish because it is self-setting. You don't need to go in with powder afterwards and it, it does look nice on my skin and it does wear well throughout the day. I do like this. This shade is just too light for me that it kind Kind of looks like a ghost on my skin but I do like the formula a lot so I definitely would consider picking up a different shade I really like this foundation I just need something deeper the next item I have here is my LYS triple fix serum foundation I have mine in the shade mg2 when I was first going through my makeup journey of trying to find my undertone this was the one product that I thought matched for me the best since I've gotten tanner since I found olive foundations it is no longer the foundation that matches me best however I do still think it's a good formula I do still like it I think mg2 is a little bit too light for me at this point so when I do wear this I tend to mix it with something else that I will talk about I do like the foundation it has a really nice formula it sits really well it lasts throughout the day it doesn't get too oily either the packaging is a tiny bit finicky just because of the shape it is this like triangular shape and I feel like it makes storing it with all of my other foundations just a tiny bit more difficult this used to be my favorite but I have since found others that I prefer more and I don't think it's a bad foundation I have just found others that I prefer more. So I still have it. I still want to use it and use it up. It's just not something that I reach for a ton anymore because I have found others that I prefer more. The next thing I have here is my About Face The Performer Skin Focus Foundation. I have mine in the shade LM2 Olive. This I think is my new favorite formula. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It looks really nice on my skin. The shade match is really good. The shade range of this foundation is also really good. I It has this doe foot applicator, which depends on how you feel about it. I 
go back and forth on whether or not I like it. The one thing is that it does dispense a good amount of product. The other thing is that the stopper in here is quite tight on the doe foot, so I have to be really careful about like pulling it out. I can't just yank it out like I would any other foundation. Foundation would just go flying anywhere. I think the packaging is really nice. It's a I think it's plastic. It feels plastic, but it looks really nice. And the price point is really nice as well. I believe it's around $22, which is pretty good for a middle range price or like a middle range brand because the CoverGirl one and the L'Oreal one are about the same. And those are supposed to be drugstore brands. So I think this is a fantastic formula. I've been wearing it pretty much nonstop since I've gotten it. It lasts so well on my oily skin. I feel like it just looks beautiful and it's a good medium coverage foundation. I can build it up if I need to, but usually I'll just do one swipe of this all over my face, use a brush to blend it out, and I just feel like it looks absolutely stunning every single time. So I think this is one of my all-time favorite formulas. I think this is so good. I truly, truly enjoy this. I think it's worth the hype. And if you have oily skin and you want like a good medium coverage foundation, definitely check out the About Face one. I just think it is one of the best that I've tried. The next foundation I have is a little mini that was so expensive. So this is from Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. I have mine in the shade 6. For most of the year, this is slightly too deep for me. Right now, I think it's a good shade match because I am a little bit more tan coming back from vacation. I think this formula is really pretty. It is really thin, so it feels like it's n like nothing on your skin. When this was too dark for me, I would mix it with the LYS Triple Fix Foundation, which is too light and I could get a pretty good shade match. However, this little mini is like $40 and that's an insane amount for a mini foundation. This still has 0.6 fluid ounces, so slightly less than a normal foundation, which usually has about one fluid ounce, but $40 for not even a full size foundation is slightly expensive, more expensive than I typically would like. However, I do think this formula is stunning. I think that it's really hyped up for a reason. It looks nice and glowy. It lasts all day. And I just feel like it kind of like blanks out my skin and I can get away with using just like one pump of this because it is so thin of a formula. I feel like it spreads really, really nicely. I really like this. I don't know if I would buy the full size just because it is quite pricey and I have a lot of foundations. It is, it is nice. I, I do like it. And the last foundation I have is from Dior. It's my Forever Skin Glow foundation in the shade 2WO, which is 2 Warm Olive. This used to be my all-time favorite. I think it is still really pretty. I just prefer the About Face, the Performer one, a little bit more. And I just think that this is too fragranced. I never used to think that, but today, when I was trying on all of these foundations as like swatches, I could not believe how scented this was. It is too strong. It honestly kind of gave me a headache with how strong it was. It hurts me to say it because I did used to love this foundation. I still think it's a good foundation. It's just not my favorite anymore. And because I prefer the About Face one, I feel like I've been gravitating way more towards the About Face one than this one. And I just, I don't know. It's just so heavily fragranced. I still have it. It's still a good foundation. It's just not my favorite anymore. And that is everything. Those are all of the foundations that I have in my collection. I feel like there could potentially be a small declutter soon, but I do want to give each of these a little bit more time in my collection just to fest, not fester, just to really, really understand my thoughts on them and like where they rank in my collection. There are a couple here that I'm looking at that I'm just like, mm, not that big of a fan anymore. I feel like I could part with this and be okay, but I definitely just wanna make sure that all the products that I'm using are getting loved and I'm not sure that that's happening. So I might do another declutter. Uh, it might just wait until the end of the year until I do my like end of the year declutter. We will see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit more intuitive and just a little bit more comprehensive of what I have in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. If any of these foundations are like your holy grail, please let me know or let me know what your holy grail foundation is because right now mine is the about face. I feel like 
I'm sh I'm sure that something else will come along that I like more eventually, but right now she is she is that girl. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.